Hello. Hold on, I gotta get my clip. Well, let me see, I might have some in here. I got one. You know you have a Dominican little sister when she teaches you how to put, push your edges down with the, with the comb. Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, hey, chicken arms. Um, wow. You really know you have a Dominican little sister when she leaves her edge brush in your drawer with her hair. Because you know that's not my hair. I do not have thick, curly hair. Um... Oh my God, you really know you have a Dominican little sister when she leaves both her edge brushes in your house. Little Jamie, come get your brushes. Guys, this skirt has pockets. Look at this skirt. Just kidding, I don't have any muscles. I don't have any muscles, I was just joking. But she did teach me how to pull my hair back, y'all. So never, ever, ever gonna let you go once I get my hands on you. Okay, this skirt is from Ishi Boutique. If you go to my stories on Instagram, I tagged it. I tagged, I tagged the boutique that made this skirt. It's in Birmingham, but you can order it or you could go. It's my girl, Aisha. Aisha, that's not really her name, but... Aisha, you are the girl that I never had, and I want to get to know you better. Aisha. Right? But she makes these clothes, and she is the bomb.com. And if you want a cute skirt that looks good with everything and has pockets, and it's, I like that it's fitted in the front, like flat in the front, but y'all, it's elastic in the back. So if you got a booty, you're straight. I don't have a booty, but if I did. Um, anyway, Michael and I just had a big fight so he could suck an egg. I would have said something else, but there might be children's watching. Children's. But we just had a big fight. And I immediately was like, okay, well... I'm not talking to him ever again, cause that's where I go in my head. Like, fuck you then. Okay, Eddie, you the fuck you man, right? Um, I must be in a playful mood or something. I think it's cause I've been taking my medicine around the clock and using my Antarctica cream and I slept last night. When I sleep, I feel a thousand times better but I am the chick who's like, oh, really? That's how you want to play? Now watch me never talk to you again. So I don't care that we're married. I don't have to talk to you. I really don't. Which is like obviously ridiculous because eventually we'll have grandchildren and I'll have to talk to him. But, um, but... I do so much for him, like literally, like I do so much for him and I asked him to blow the pollen off the back deck so I could work on the back deck this morning and he was like, I bought the electric bl blower because you couldn't start the pulling one so I bought an electric one and you still want me to, if, if you don't get your ass and blow the mother if you Lord 
I come to you today in preservation of Michael William Sullivan. Because Lord, I had surgery last week and Lord, I am doing the best I can, Lord. And when I ask this man to blow the pollen off the back deck, Lord, all I need to hear is, of course, baby, I got you. Lord, I don't need back talk, Lord. I don't need reminders that I don't know how to start a pulley fucking leaf blower, Lord. I don't need to know he bought an electrical leaf blower, Lord. I don't care if he goes out there and blows the pollen with his fucking own breath, Lord. I just need the pollen taken off the back deck, Lord. So if you could just please protect your son, Michael Sullivan, so I don't have to choke the shit out of him. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Woo! Amen. Y'all, I felt that. That was good. That was a good prayer. Because I have my period, my leg still hurts, and I am not the one, Lord. I am absolutely not the one. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for coming to my sermon, Jesus. I appreciate you. Thank you for making the time on this Friday morning. Thank you. Okay. Now, so he want to back talk me. So that's cool. Okay. Well, I will never talk to you again. So I hope you like the sound of my voice. You better download Facebook so you can listen to Coffee Talk because you're never going to hear this voice again. Bitch, I'm going to be like the chick on Zoom who forgot to take herself off mute. When you ask me a question, I'm going to be like this. You're not even going to hear my voice. So, anyway. Then I remembered that you can have pride. Um, or you can have love, but you really can't have both. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. Today I choose pride. Period. Proudly. I don't really give a shit. Today I choose pride. That's where I'm sitting today. But Jamie, do you really want to be petty? Yes, I do. My name is Petty Mercury. Okay? My name is Petty Pendergrass. Okay? That's what my name is. I'm petty today and I'm choosing, I'm choosing pride. And I understand fully that I cannot love my husband the way a wife has been called to love her husband in this place of pride. But I don't care. I really don't. And I know a lot of you are disappointed. You're watching this video right now going like, Jamie, y'all are couple goals, but I love you. I've been watching you for five years. Well, you're going to have to ride this wave with me because I'm choosing pride today. Love could go scratch its ass. I'm not interested because I've been through some shit this last week. And he's going to play golf today while I choke on a film of fucking pollen on the back deck with a bruise the size of Antarctica on my leg. So when you want to come at me, sir, about the, the fucking leaf blower, sir, and tell me that you bought a, a different one because I couldn't use the first one, bitch, I'm not using the second one either. So I love you blow the pollen off. And until you do, don't talk to me. And we're supposed to go on a date tonight. And let me tell you about that date, sir. That date is on hiatus. Mm -hmm. That date is, that date is taken, that date has put in a request for time off. That, I don't know where, that date is, I don't know where that date is. That date is out of office. Okay. I had a cute outfit too. Like, you weren't really going to get any because I have my period, but I could have fondled you in the car on the way home. But now... We're not even going to leave the house. In fact, I might have the babysitter still show up and have you look around and go, why is there a babysitter in my house? Where's my wife? Bitch, you won't know because I'm not talking to you because today I choose pride. I'm not choosing love today. This isn't the typical coffee talk. I'm not that girl today. I'm a different Jamie. Okay. Okay. I was going to post a picture of Michael today and write, it's a snack. Now I'm not doing it. Now I'm not going to put his ass on Instagram. Because he doesn't know how to act right. So you don't get that kind of love, sir. Sorry. As a matter of fact, sir, your application has been lost. You may have to fill out a new application to even date me. I might even put it online. You may have to go online to the website, canitalktomywife.com. And the answer might be no. Because I don't really want to talk to you. And honestly... I'm the chick that makes sure there's goldfish in the house for you all the time. Do I not make sure there's goldfish for you in the house every day, sir? I do. I do. And when you gave up alcohol for Len, who made sure there was non-alcoholic beer in the house? This girl. 
okay? This girl. And who lays in bed next to you while you make all those weird noises? This girl does, and she doesn't say anything. So if you can't blow off the pollen with the 957 leaf blowers you bought because you thought I was going to do it with the easier leaf blower, that's on you, sir. You spent the money I didn't ask you to, to spend. I never said to you, I can't use the pulley one. That's too hard for me. Could you get me a blower that could be easier for me? I never asked that of you because I never had any intention of using the leaf blower, sir. You've known me since I was 27 years old. Have you ever seen me use a leaf blower, sir? No, I don't think you have. Why would I start at 44 with surgery leg and a period? You thought today was the day I was gonna start blowing shit off a porch? Oh my God, I, read the room, sir. Read the fucking room. Who are you? No, I'm sorry. On this episode, and you got me fucked up. I mean, I'm perplexed as to where <laughs> you thought that conversation. Like, I genuinely, like, almost want to rewind and sit in the car with you for another second and see where you thought that was going to go. Did you think I was going to be like, oh, you're right. Let me limp my ass to the garage and get that electronic leaf blower, you forward thinker. Good on you, Michael. Let me get that leaf blower and start fucking blowing shit off the porch. I'm sorry. I was raised by a Jewish hippie from Brooklyn. We know. We don't do that, sir. We, I, don't, I don't even know how. And, and I don't want the instructions. Because I'm not interested. So, I just want to let you know that you can have pride or you can have love, but you can't have both. And today I choose pride, period. So anybody else is choo choosing pride, I'm with you. And if you think that I won't put makeup on his favorite perfume and look fine and walk past his ass like I don't know him then you don't know me because that's what I'm about to do I might take this off and walk around because there's no children in this house I might walk around with my tits out like this weather is crazy I'm not talking to him I might just be talking to anybody you know anyway so you know we're choosing pride today. Tomorrow we might choose love, but today we're choosing pride. And here's what I love. I could be all in my feelings and have a whole fucking day about this. And there'll be somebody on my coffee talk that's like, did she just say hippie Jew from Brooklyn? Is that racist? Oh my God. I love though that when I call out my dad, even though he's dead, I can feel him giggle. I do love my dad so much. Um, anyway, that's how I feel today, y'all. That's how I feel today. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure, y'all. I don't wish I could turn back time. I am very comfortable, very comfortable with where I am and what I've chosen for the day. And he will avoid me like a mother who hears her kid in the middle of the night calling her name. That is how he will annoy, ignore, uh, avoid me. <sighs> Smart. Because I know he's rethinking. He's, he's thinking, that didn't go well. How could I have done that differently? Hmm. So, anyway, if you're thinking about love today and you're wondering why it might not be going right for you, you might want to check your pride. Because you can have pride and you can't have, and you can have love, but you just can't have them both at the same time. And that's where we are. So there's that. Anyway, I plan on having a fantastical day. And I do hope that you guys have a fantastical day too. Okay? And um, I love you very much. And, you know, 
I hope you have a great, great day.